just love you, Jesus loves you. That means I love you. <laughs> um, I typed into YouTube, should I kill myself, and came across a bunch of videos. And uh, some of them are, were okay, some of them weren't. And it just made me really sad and depressed, <laughs> honestly, when I typed in, should I kill myself. So I figured I would make a video. Uh, um, I've actually talked to... I was actually suicidal at one point uh, for like a year and a half. Things were just really, really bad. And different people have different reasons for being suicidal. But basically life gets bad or people are mean to you or you don't think you're good enough or you're ugly or no one loves you or you can't find happiness or things are too hard or someone's abusing you or whatever the case may be, or you just don't know what to do, there's no reason for life, there's no purpose, whatever the case may be, you know. So if you're struggling with, you know, suicide or whatever, um, sorry, my air conditioning just came on. <laughs> um, I, uh, sorry, I've been uh, working out in the very hot sun and Sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, whatever. Um, anyways, so if you're thinking about killing yourself, uh, for whatever reason, just life is tough, or there's no point to life, or you're not pretty enough, you're not good enough, no one loves you, you know, or your friends left you, or your boyfriend or girlfriend dumped you, or just whatever, the, what, whatever you're going through that's making things hard, I just want to tell you, and this is very whatever, I don't know what you believe, but Jesus loves you. And I'm going to say a couple more things, and then if you, even if you don't believe that, I'll get to some common ground. But it says we were made by Jesus for Jesus, and that means that he loves us. Like God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And everlasting life is knowing Jesus. The only reason for a year and a half that I didn't kill myself is because Jesus, literally his Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus lives inside of me and like really helped me. Like I, I seriously thought about it and was trying not to kill myself for a year and a half. And uh, Jesus is the only reason that I'm still here. And that's the same for like, if you're watching this video, the only reason you're alive right now is because Jesus gives you oxygen and whatever. And he's the meaning of life. And if you had a bad view because of church people, people who call themselves Christians, like most of those people don't know Jesus. Like, Jesus was the most loving, tender-hearted, warm person ever. He's also holy and righteous and pure. But that's why he died on the cross is because we're, we are not holy, righteous, and pure. So he paid for our sin because he loves us so much. He died in our place so that we'll never have to die or go to hell. Like we can be with him in happiness forever. But don't kill yourself to get there. There's actually a video of a guy, uh, he ended up like uh, drowning when he was like 12 and he had like an experience of heaven and his whole life nothing matched up to his experience to heaven so he started doing drugs and when he was 40 he decided he wanted to go to heaven so he took a, he took a bunch of pills to die and he ended up going to hell. <laughs> And then woke up like three days later at, in, at a different place and realized that if he had actually completely died, like he would be in hell. And so like, I'm not saying necessarily, you know, if you've killed yourself, if you know somebody, I'm not saying that if you kill yourself, you'll definitely go to hell. But I know that Jesus lives in me and it scares me to death to kill myself because like I don't want to like it's impossible for me to go to hell. But like that just scares the junk out of me. And I've even gave someone the advice like do anything except for kill yourself. Like once you kill yourself, 
like whether you're whether you believe in Jesus or don't or going to heaven or going to hell or whatever once you kill yourself your life on earth is over forever and you'll be in hell or heaven or like this is a really important time like it's the only it's the only time we get to serve Jesus and anyways i just wanted to say that like even if you don't believe in Jesus and you don't care about Jesus, like Jesus still loves you and you're made in his image. Like you're made in the image of God and God made you, like people used to make fun of me for different things and now they make fun of me for other things. You know, like, you know, uh, you know, I don't even know, like the different things, it's kind of hurtful to talk about, but like, you know, your nose is too big or you're too skinny. Now I'm too fat. Now I'm a Jesus freak. You know, people make fun of me and it gets to you. And then like when your friends leave you and your family's not there for you and, you know, you're in physical pain and whatever, like all of these things I've, you know, st kind of still in part of them. But anyways, Jesus brings light to that. And like, even if you don't believe in Jesus, like suicide is like, forever like you're either forever you're wherever even if you don't believe in heaven or hell you're dead forever like whatever happens when you die it's forever whatever you're going through now is temporary i can promise you so the bible says it's appointed unto man once to die and after that the judgment so like whatever you believe like once you die it's for like people who died thousands of years ago like their bones are rotting away, they're still dead. Wherever they are, whether they just cease to exist, they'll never exist again, ever. They're gone, like disappeared, gone. Or whatever you believe about it, like, you know, if you're in some white room, you know, forever, like you don't know what that is. So I suggest spending the rest of your life trying to figure out what happens when you die because that's the most important thing. And I found the answer in Jesus. Like this is not some kind of selling point. Like I love Jesus with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. I love Jesus to death and I love you right now. That's why I'm making this video. Like I, all the videos I watched, I typed into YouTube, should I kill myself? And I like it just, I got really upset and just uh, I love you and Jesus loves you and hang on. If you're in an abusive situation, move to another state, like run away, you know, call the cops, call the FBI. You know, if you're, if you're in an abusive relationship, like get out of it. If you feel like no one loves you, I'm telling you that I love you and Jesus will see you through. And, uh, so like there's one person that cares about you. I care about you. And I, no matter who you are, I don't want you to kill yourself. So I love you and Jesus loves you and uh, message me, <laughs> hopefully, Lord willing, I will get back to you. So and just in case like I don't get the message or whatever, something happens, you know, don't kill yourself. But in the comments, like, uh, or you can email me, but if you want to comment, you know, and put your email there, but uh, my email is josephzeiss at gmail.com josephzeiss at gmail.com it's the name of the channel that's my name josephzeiss at gmail.com and just send me a message and I'd love to talk to you more and uh, help you out but Jesus loves you and I love you and like I said like and also most of the time things are temporary even if you're like 40 or 50 years old like the guy who started Kentucky Fried Chicken I don't know if you have that where you live, but it's a huge restaurant, uh, fast food chain. He started it like they make millions and millions of dollars. He started it when he was 70 years old, 70 years old or 75. I can't remember, but that means he might have had a crappy life until he was 70. And then he started the multi-million dollar business. So like maybe he was suicidal for 70 years and then started this huge franchise company. So anyways, my point is 
But most of the time, things don't even last that long. Like, I was suicidal for a really long time, a year and a half. But uh, but Jesus helped me through it. Like, I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And Jesus didn't answer right away. Like, I was a born-again Christian, all for Jesus, all the time. And he still let me go through that suicidal season of life for a year and a half. And sometimes I still get really lonely, really depressed. I live in an apartment by myself. And, uh... But Jesus, like, I, it's just, Jesus, what do you want me to do? And, like, just, if you draw near to God, God will draw near to you. So if you take, like, an inch kind of step in Jesus' direction, he'll, like, part the universe to, you know, meet you where you are. So just cry out to Jesus for help and give him your life. Like, let him come live in your heart and join with your the holy spirit join with your spirit and you'll never be alone like i i i'm never alone but sometimes i feel lonely cuz there's no like physical people but i know that jesus always loves me and is with me and if you need a friend like i said email me josephzeis at gmail.com and uh jesus loves you i love you and that's why i made the video and uh so i really hope uh and if you don't believe in any of that like you've got to believe in jesus like he loves you and he's the only way to heaven and you know he wants you to be his child so you've got to give him your life and even if you don't give him your life ask jesus for help like just ask jesus to help you like jesus if you're real please help me and like i said i i have Jesus living in me and I went through a year and a half where I was trying really hard not to kill myself so uh so like God may not he may answer right away like you may pray Jesus please help me you know crying and praying Jesus help me and he may flood you with peace I pray right now that he floods you with his peace and his love and his joy and his happiness because Jesus loves you so I pray he floods you with peace and uh, whatever happens, just don't give up because things change. Like the times that were really, really bad where I really considered suicide, like something would always happen to make it a little bit better. So even though I was like as low as you can get, like something would always happen to make it a little bit better. And then it would start getting a little better and then I'd be suicidal. And anyways, but God brought me out of that. So, uh, and even if God had me live the rest of my life being suicidal, I would just keep praying that he kept help me, helping me every day. But I really don't think God would leave anyone in that situation where you're suicidal your whole life. I, I just don't believe that, especially if you're praying to Jesus to help you. Like, give your life to Jesus, ask Jesus for his love and his guidance and that he would save you. And that he would help you. Or if you don't want to be saved, tell him you don't want to be saved. You know, but think about it because he loves you and he wants to have a relationship with you. But just keep praying and asking him for help about whatever the issues that you're struggling with. Because it says, cast your anxieties on Jesus because he cares for you. Cast your burdens on Jesus because he's God and he loves you and he wants to bear your burdens of people not loving you, of you losing your job, of you cutting yourself, of you doing drugs or having sex or or breaking up with someone, whatever the case may be, or you can't get over something, something bad, whatever it is, Jesus cares and wants to bear your burdens. And let me know in the comments or in my email or whatever, you know, because the Bible also says to tell one another what you're struggling with so that they can help you out and you know somebody knows. And so right now I'm telling you that, you know, I don't know what specifically, but uh, but I know that I care about you no matter who you are. So uh, especially people that are struggling and Jesus, God, who is God, he really cares about the brokenhearted and people who are struggling. So anyways, uh, I actually made a video like Dennis Rodman has really struggled in life. And I made a video, Jesus loves you, Dennis Rodman. So probably if you type in YouTube, 
Jesus loves you, Dennis Rodman. It'll probably come up. But, uh, and then like just my heart goes, my heart and God's heart goes out to the brokenhearted. So anyways, love you, Jesus loves you. Talk to Jesus, ask him for his peace and love and help and to save you and send me a message and know that I always love you. So when you wonder if anyone cares about you, I care about you. And Jesus living in me, I can feel him like he cares about you, no matter who you are. No matter what you've done or what you're in, what situation, Jesus loves you. And there is hope. There's always hope. So give your life to Jesus. And Jesus loves you. I love you. Send me a message. Love you. Jesus loves you. Jesus later. Cheers.